This is huge. We are going to build an application which is capable of talking to 100 plus large language model. And in this video, we are going to see how to create an API. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you how to create an API from Auto LLM using Fast API. In the previous video, we've already seen this code. So I'll link that in the description below. First, import Auto Query Engine from Auto LLM. This is used to create a query engine. Next, import the simple directory reader to read all the files which is in the data folder. If you see the folder structure, you have a folder called data. Inside that, we have a file called text.txt. The content is about Auto LLM. So using this documents variable, we are going to read all the files which is in the data folder. So a simple directory reader and data and load data. Next, define a query engine and pass the document inside the query engine. This will automatically create the embeddings required. Next, you are able to query the query engine. So I've asked, explain me about auto LLM. This should automatically respond with the response. To convert this into a fast API application, import UVCon. Next, from auto LLM, import auto fast API. This will import the fast API required. Next, instead of response, we are going to create app equals auto fast API dot from query engine and pass the query engine inside the bracket. Just by having this one line of code, you are able to convert this application into a fast API application. Now at app.get and then backslash, that's the root folder. We are going to define a main function where we are passing the query inside that. Then returning the query engine.query. Next, we are going to define the main function, which is underscore underscore name and main, and then uvcon.run and pass the app comma host could be 0.0.0, .0 that's the, like the local host, and then port number 8000. That's it. So it's just literally adding three lines of code compared to what it was before. First, you create an app using auto fast API, then you create a main function and return the query engine.query. That should process the query. At the end, you define the uvcon.run application and pass the app. Thus, this application will be running in port number 8000 in your local host. So I'm going to run this code now. So we're going to type python app.py in your terminal and click enter. Now it's passing documents, generating the embeddings, and you can see your API is running in port number 8000. So we are going to test this API using Postman. So I have opened Postman now. I've entered the URL here as 000 colon 8000. Now going into the par params tab, enter the key which is Q and then pass the value. What is auto LLM? I have asked the question here which you can see and I'm going to click send. Now the application is running and it got a response now. Auto LLM is a feature rich package that simplifies large model. And you can see the structure of the response here in this tab. That's it. Now you have created an API endpoint that can respond to your query. As simple as that. I'm also going to create more videos in regards to auto LLM. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.